Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a bunch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care did. I could have knocked this block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. It'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, an old man was killed. Merd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Take a look at this. You told me you weren't a cop. Don't shout about it. I'm working undercover. Who are you looking for? That's confidential. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Ah, look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Cha! Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it. Help yourself. I'd found just what I wanted, a tool for looking manual covers. Hello, Nico Kulas. Hello, it's George. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you.
I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. It was the clown's red nose. The nose was hollow, printed on the inside with the words, La Visée du Monde, Paris. It was a bright red plastic nose part of a clown's costume. I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. It was the scrap of material I'd found in the sewer. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Hi there. Hold it right there, you, you sewer rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there, immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Terrorists. The meanest, nastiest, dirtiest bunch of guys you ever saw. Ah. Uh -huh. Englishmen without a doubt. The filthy dogs. The day they opened that tunnel was a bad day for France, I tell you. If I still had the full use of my faculties, I'd march right over there and tell them so. Well, whoever they are, they blew up the cafe. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon Dieu! That is awful. The guy who did it was a calculating, cold-blooded killer. He was disguised as a clown. I followed him into the sewer, and I think he came this way. Ah, mon dieu! And then, the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type, <laughs> just like you. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you say. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find him. Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Bravo! Huh? You'll need some sensible boots. You won't get far in those stupid sneakers. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Well, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave? Or do I have to call the police? This is what I used to open the manhole cover.
Just as I thought. You are up to no good. Thou no swears, what you? One slip and I would have been up to my neck. Take a look at this false nose. I've never seen it before in my life. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rousseau? What does that say? Hominoid division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. It is your posture, your, your poise. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, mm, disgusting. What on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face suddenly next to mine. His grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh, no. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her. Quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui! Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todrick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with numbers that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon.
So the clown had escaped into the sewer, come up into the courtyard, and then slipped back into the street here. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had done. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Do you know a guy called Plantar? No, I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. I expect Plantar's a family man, don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. He can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy. Huh? The faithful puppy dog, waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? I don't know, Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. None of this has anything to do with me. What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, it's George. Ah, oh, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Luke, why don't you come here to my apartment later this afternoon? Uh, fine. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come over. I was used to working alone, but I had to admit it felt good with George on the case too. But there were some things I was going to have to do alone, and fast. I needed the answers to some questions. Who was the costume killer? And why did he murder Carchon? Why did Carchon ask for me to interview him? How did he know my father? And why was my editor so scared? There was some kind of secret war going on out there, but who was on which side? One thing I did know, I wasn't going to get the answer sitting at my desk. <laughs>